In this tutorial, I want to continue looking at the document object model, and I want to um, show you how you can uh, set up Firefox to show the document object model tree. So this is a web page that was created. Um, actually, this was created from an example in a book called JavaScript for Programmers, and I'll list that uh, book up on, the, on our uh, website as a, an example of a really good JavaScript book. So it's just a simple um, HTML page that, that features some uh, Lorem Ipsum holder text. There's also a link here. It goes to nowhere. Um, and then there's a ordered list. So obviously, when the user loads this up, this is what the user will be seeing. As most of you know, you can actually go and you can go view the source in an HTML document. And you go view source. And I have to come over and grab that. There we go. And so this shows us our HTML, and this is what you will see, and sometimes that's just the end of it. But there's a lot more going on here, and this can actually be represented um, as a uh, DOM graphic, which, which we looked at in the last PowerPoint. But it can also be represented by a DOM tree, which can be set up by going and uh, loading the DOM inspector into Firefox. So I have Firefox running right now on my Macintosh. I'm going to go ahead and go back here and just show you um, that all I did was you go to the DOM inspector uh, or Google DOM inspector or DOM inspector Firefox. And it should be the first thing that you get. It's the first hit. And then it comes here to the uh, plugins page for the DOM inspector. And it's going to be a add on. The, and you should just be able to click here for add to Firefox. And then um, it will probably install it directly. Uh, that's what it did for me. So once that's installed, then you can go on through and you can look at the DOM tree for any HTML page. So I just clicked install and now it's going to be under my tools. So I go up here to web developer and it's actually uh, you go past Firebug if you have that installed. And then if you're using uh, Firefox, you'll also see things like the, um, excuse me, the web console. And then here we have the DOM inspector. The DOM inspector is what was installed. Um, so I click on that. And let me push this over here so we can kind of see both at kind of the same time. And our top level is going to be right here with the uh, HTML. Or actually, well, it's the document right here is our, is our top level. But we often can think of it as being that HTML page. And as I mentioned before, we got uh, nodes that are actually just comments. And so there's a comment here. If I click on that, it actually shows you the comment that's on that page. We can verify that by looking at our source code. So go here to view page source. And we indeed do have a comment that says demonstration of a documents tree. That's the regular HTML comment, and it's showing up as a comment node. Now I come down here and I open up that HTML node right here. And it gives me the information and value of that node. And then the various uh, siblings under it are going to be head and body. And I can click on the body. And we have all the siblings under there. We have a H1, a paragraph, an anchor, another paragraph, and an ordered list. OK, once again, I'll go ahead and look at my source code. And that looks pretty much it, an H1, a paragraph. There's some nested ones, which I can get into. Um, an anchor, another paragraph, and an ordered list. Well, let me uh, open up that ordered list. We have all of our LIs. Those all of our allies. So you see how that's working. And here's our text. And we can actually come on through and we can change values um, if we want. In fact, an interesting thing to do is to load up a page. Um, I'm going to load up a page that I know because uh, then I can go through and quickly show you how that's done. And this is a page that I was working on recently. Um, so let me show this. So this is just a, uh, a demo reel that I have up here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and show that source code. OK, so here's all the source code for it, the code behind the scenes. And let me go on up and actually close this out. And I'm going to reopen that um, web developer DOM inspector. Oops, is it not going to work for me? I must open up the wrong one. Let me try again. Web developer DOM inspector. There we are. All right, so now that that's open, I can come through here and I can make some modifications to this page. Now, note that I'm not making permanent modifications. This is actually on a server that's located on the web. But you could do anything. You know, you could load up uh, Google, for example, or, uh, or msnbc.com. And you can go look at that DOM inspector and you can modify it, how it's locally presented on your page. So this is modifying how it's being presented locally. 
So I can come on in here and look at the document uh, for my page. And let me go to the div. I'll just do one really quick here. I'll go into the style. Um, find one here. Okay. So you see how this is looking here. It's a width of 795 pixels for that entire white area. But I can come on in and change that. And I'll change that to something really dramatic to 200. I come over here and you refresh it. And then you should see that that div area has changed to um, whatever I made it, 200 pixels. All right. So, but that's, again, that's not a permanent change. This is just so you can see how the DOM is working. Uh, the different structures. It's really useful if you want to be using JavaScript to reference certain um, nodes on your page. Uh, for example, with get, get element by ID. All right. Thank you.